to show you a few different lights. Positive lead, one negative lead. I'm going to show you a few different types of LEDs. This one right here, this is a uh, basically what they call a pod. Okay, now you can see that that light is physically working. One thing about these pods is you can tell it actually shows a circle. Um, that's one of the bad things about it is if you put the light against something you're gonna have a direct light so it's kinda best to show make the light bounce off something and then onto another surface that way you don't get that uh, definite line from an LED so this is a pod they make them in um, two three five and seven I think this is the same as what those are the same style LEDs it's just that they're one's in a holder and the other's not there's a resistor in here just like there's a resistor inside here for these seven for this particular one these LEDs because they can't take 12 volts have a little resistor plumbed in line what I'm gonna do here get enough aid just to show you guys this is how I bought the LED minus cutting the end off I go ahead and put one in the positive lead put one in the negative lead and you can see that this one too lights up uh, you can see a little bit better what I'm talking about with the definite light source but this is what I use they're really nice because you can manipulate them um, you can bend them to how you want versus with the style with the pods you're probably only going to be able to mount this in one way and these lights are fixed this single LED cost me about a hundred pack for eight bucks on eBay this here cost me about fourteen dollars so you can see that dollar for dollar this is a better deal plus you can manipulate it okay now we're going to talk about wiring a little bit um, one thing that you need to understand is that there needs to be the flow of current the flow has to come from the positive to the LED and at the LED it has to be able to return back to the negative um, so what you need to do is depending on how many LEDs you have if I had three LEDs they each are going to have a positive and a negative wire this will be the negative this will be the negative and this will be the negative denoted in black this LED has a red wire red wire red wire in order to get these to light I create what's called um, a branch effect just like a tree you're gonna have two trunk lines and you're gonna have branches coming off them so with this positive terminal off the battery I'll run a power wire and I'm going to fuse it uh, you can put any kind of fuse you want in there I recommend putting in probably a, a one or two amp if if something happens it's circuit protection it will blow out so after my fuse I create what's called a trunk line usually I'll run one wire all the way to the last LED the furthest away from the battery off of that wire I will feed 12 volts to each LED now these have to come back to the ground side of the battery so again longest wire we only need one fuse on the hot side or the positive side and then I'll come back in and I'll tie in to the negative side the way that's set up right now these will be able to turn on okay 
going to come in just like we saw earlier in the video and we're going to splice the connection in right there Then on the negative side we're going to do the same put the wire through We have our second set. We'll do the same right here. Now, I have two LEDs a couple inches apart. All that's left is soldering. Also, which brings up a good point. You can see how that solder didn't stick very well. The reason for that is I burned all the flux off it. So what you want to do is you basically want to take a rag, wipe the solder off your soldering gun, re-wick the tip, and this time it will flow on there quite a bit better. Just like so. So, here is the equivalent of what I would have running underneath the motorcycle. Um, you would need to shrink tube these and you would obviously have to plan and sh put shrink tubing on that previous. But for demonstration purposes I'm not. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll Break these lines and just for the sake of argument to show you that this works, I'm going to power this up. There's my positive. Here's my negative and my LEDs work. Now imagine that these are your battery posts. That's how you would do it. You would put a fuse as close to the battery as possible on this line. But that is how you solder and run LEDs throughout your bike. Um, one little trick that I've learned along the way is what you can do is you buy a piece of stainless steel flexible wire. You basically lose it to help aim your LED. If you take a little bit of electrical tape now as these trunk lines are running through just like so you can actually use that piece of wire inside there and aim it which works out pretty handy if by chance you want to accent say the, uh, the top of your motor coming down you can keep that thing pointed down